I'm Storm Trek 8 Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown. After heat and humidity throughout the day, hey, we still hold on to a little of that tonight. Warm and muggy. Temperatures falling from the 80s down into the 70s quite slowly here. But we're talking humidity, right? So at any point, you could spark a quick moving shower across the area, but will remain mainly dry as temperatures fall to the 70s tonight. Headed out to mow the lawn this evening. Well, we're dry, so you're A-OK -okay with that. We'll have sunshine, but very warm through about 8 p.m. as we hold steady in the 80s. Sunset officially happens at 9:17. So 9 o'clock, a really good time to mow the lawn as we'll see temperatures start to fall off. Speaking of temperatures falling tonight, those temperatures down to around 70 degrees under mostly clear skies. We're going to remain mainly dry tonight and mainly dry for most of us tomorrow. See tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. Beautiful sunshine during the afternoon hours, but we can't roll out a stray shower for you on your Saturday afternoon. Now, the shower chance is best from Kokomo to Lafayette and areas off to the north, but we'll track that chance throughout the day. We could see our first 90 degree day in the forecast for you tomorrow as you head to the pool. Mid 80s by 2 p.m. I think we'll make it easily to the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees by 3 p.m. So sitting out by the pool, don't forget that sunscreen and the sunglasses as the sun remains strong throughout the afternoon hours. Now, that chance of a stray shower is north. A better chance of seeing rain in this forecast on Sunday. Now, although tomorrow could be our first 90 degree day, we could repeat that pattern on Sunday. A few showers in the morning. A better chance of seeing a few showers during the afternoon hours as uh, this humidity continues to bring a little rain our way. Now, the rain on the afternoon hours on Sunday is short-lived. We are not expecting severe weather at this time, but we will track a few showers on Sunday afternoon. Right back in the upper 80s to low 90s. Now, these 90-degree days, they're hot because it feels much warmer when you factor in the humidity on both Saturday and Sunday. Here's your chat heating and cooling eight-day forecast. We'll see several 90-degree days here as we head into the 4th of July. And I know you see the thunderstorm icon in every single day. This doesn't mean that it rains all day every day. This means that we could spark a quick moving shower or thunderstorm from Monday through next Saturday. The best chance of seeing storms happens for us on Tuesday afternoon. And then again, as we head into the weekend.